So work smarter, not harder. It's time for another Mindset Monday! Don't sneeze. Don't tight. I think it's gonna sneeze. It's funny, so before we started filming. <coughs> told you! Told you! Before we started filming. <laughs> can we put the glasses on now? Rab says, take the glasses off because I, I don't want them to notice the shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, as if they're not going to notice the shirts. Hey, there we go. <laughs> what a look, eh? I guess we might be onto something here. Yeah. You know, the, the oh, kilts right. make us unique, but other people wear kilts, I think. <laughs> so these shirts we've <laughs> ripped them, actually. I might keep it for my, some lounge wear, you know? No? No, probably not. You never know, the, the wife might be into the Van Damme look. <laughs> <laughs> she might like it. <laughs> I have to just jump with a flying kick, like... <laughs> ah! <laughs> So, this Mindset Monday is all about working smarter, not harder. So, what we mean by that is, it's sometimes if you're following, we're going to use weight loss and fitness routine, you're following a particular routine, and you're getting a certain level of results, then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I want more results. So, rather than trying to do things in a more intelligent way, you suddenly decide that more is better. The prime example of this, I and mean, we've been personal trainers for over 15 years now, and the prime example of this is the people who go running and they don't really know what else to do, but they know running got results for them. Because when anybody starts running, when you go from, from a zero to say a 5k pace, the body adapts and everything else and moves forward and you lose weight. Everything looks fantastic. But then because people don't know what else to do, like, I'll just run further, so do a 10k, run further, do a half marathon, a full marathon. But you get to that level where you're just running and running and running and Ultimately, more is not necessarily better. People work really hard and actually break their body. They've got sore knees, sore ankles, sore hips, sore back from doing all this run, 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 run. But really, they need to be a little bit smarter about it. It's also, especially when it comes down to fitness, when you start doing more exercise, you've got to be smart with it because injuries can and will occur the more that you train. Because you, the more you train, likely the less rest you're going to have between sessions if you're doing multiple sessions or if you're training for longer. So. It was like when we went down to the strongman to train with Cherry, we spent 45 minutes warming up our shoulders. So what happened is, is um, Cherry, who's a big strongman, for years he was always getting stronger, but he realised that injuries were setting him back so much. So for him to train smarter was about putting in more time with a warm-up rather than trying to train more often. I mean, the guy trains hard anyway, but yeah. that was for him training smarter, not harder. It's easy to see people in the gym who are working hard and you think, I can do that as well, I'm going, I'm going to do really tough workouts and I'm going to not stop until I'm sweating buckets and I've burned so many calories. And a lot of people just go in it all the wrong way. So by training a little bit smarter, so yeah, looking at your warm-ups, but looking at your workouts and saying, right, what is going to challenge my body here? You don't have to absolutely kill yourself on every single session. It's all about gradual build-up progressive overload just a tiniest little bit an increment each time that you go but training different angles different um, tempos of exercises different forms of cardio will always challenge your body and keep you injury free so work smarter 
not harder. <laughs> so this is our five fat loss foods. Three, two, one.